Hello world, this is Craig. This is a series of six videos on bit banging a Dallas one wire interface on an ARM Cortex STM32 processor. So in part one, we looked at the specifications for the one wire. Now we're going to look at the actual waveforms. So here we have our reset condition where the master is holding the bus low, starving all the components of power. So they all basically are turning off. When it goes back high, they all power up and see this as the initial start. And so all the devices on the bus give the presence indication. Test point 12 is not actually part of the protocol. It's just a test point that we toggle when we're actually sampling. We just do this during the development. And after the code is done, we'll take that sampling back out. After the presence, we send our first command to the device. And so you can see we're sending command 3.3. These go out least significant bit first. So this is the first clock pulse, and this is the first bit where the device would sample that as a logic one. Next clock pulse, the device would sample that as a logic one. The next clock pulse is zero, and the next clock pulse is zero. So that's the first three. The next three repeats, logic one, one, zero, zero. And you can see that this was sent out without an address. So we have just a single device on the bus. And so we can immediately start sending commands. So we're not using this, in this case, in an addressing mode. After the 3.3 was sent out, then the device responds back with its family code. And in this case, its family code is an 8.9. Here is where the bus sent out a strobe. So it takes it low. And from this point, then we wait the 30 microseconds and sample. We then take the bus low again, we sample, bus low, sample, bus low, sample, and so forth. And so we sample in the 8.9, which is the family code. After the family code, the next thing that this device sends us is the unique identifier, which in this case is the MAC address. And that's followed by the CRC, which in this case is the CRC, including the family code, and then the six bytes of the MAC address. The master then sends out to the slave the command F0, which for this particular device tells us to start reading the EEPROM, followed by the address, the low byte zero, the high byte is zero. And then the device responds back with its CRC of the command and the address. And the master can confirm that that was received correctly. The device then starts sending out the first page of its address. Finally, after all of the data, the device sends out a 16-bit CRC. And so why are we bit banging out to this device? Well, in this particular device, we didn't have a UART available, and we only read this address once during the startup of the code. And since we use this device on many other products and we have the code for the bit banging, it was just as easy to use a single wire device instead of hanging this on the SPI or the I squared C. Okay, well that's it for part two, the waveforms. It's a short video. I know how boring waveforms can be. In part three, we're going to look at the actual configuration of the one wire interface on the ARM Cortex. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you learned something.